So Google Stadia was released on November 19th, 2019, and since that time, all I've ever heard is negative. You have to buy games, the latency's not there, you have to buy their controller, and there's always this negative that comes from it. But what I want to say is, it's 2021, and I just got an offer to try out Stadia for three months, and I've been playing around with it, and I have to tell you, my opinion's changed. Let's get into it. So why Google Stadia? One of the things that happened when I got that email saying you've got three months of Stadia for free, I was thinking, why would I try a service that my computer can run all of those games just fine? Why would I use this service? And the versatility of being able to use it not only on your phone, but also on devices that can't run these games is pretty intriguing, as well as for a person who builds budget PCs and helps people out getting into the PC game. This is very attractive to people, and after this this, we'll talk about whether or not this is a good deal or not, but I just want to preface, if at any time during this video you want to think about trying Stadia yourself, make sure you drop down into the description and click that referral link. You're going to get two free months of Google Stadia Pro as well and be able to play any of the games that we look at today. So we're over on stadia.google.com and this is the website where you actually connect to play Google Stadia on any of your devices. It even says here's your supported devices and then what controllers are supported. Uh, but there's a couple of other really cool features features just FYI we'll cover later in this video but we'll also do a dedicated video specifically on them for this video so make sure you subscribe to check that out but I want you to take a look at the things that are included with Stadia Pro so we're gonna click on my library and you'll see that I've claimed all of the ones that say Pro these are the ones that are included with your membership uh, Destiny 2 isn't but it's free anyway and that's the game I play the most but what we'll look at is things like they have Avicii, Everspace, Star Wars Fallen Order, PUBG is included, Human fall flat you know some of these games some of them are kind of throwaways some of them aren't there's moto gp uh but some of these you know could be interesting things just to get you up and going and then obviously you know just to keep you there uh they have a google store or the the stadia pro store and if you're pro you can save a lot on games like tom here's rainbow six siege ultimate edition for 15 dollars so you do have to purchase games on their platform. You can't bring things from Steam or from other platforms. They have their own kind of purchasing system and the games stay on Google Stadia. So let's go ahead and jump into a couple games and I'm gonna talk about the latency for those games as well as the quality, the video quality that you see. So let's launch into my favorite game right now, which is Destiny 2. <clears throat> Gotta put these headphones on. Gotta put these headphones on me as we launch into the Destiny 2. Oh. That was probably the weirdest thing I've done yet. All right, so as we load in here, I can obviously tell just looking at the screen that it's game streamed. You know, things are just a little softer, but I can tell it's still rendering in 1080p. I can tell that this game, or I know that this game, you can't go in and adjust any of the video settings, but uh, let's go ahead and launch in. Whenever you're in Stadia, you can hit shift tab and it allows you to change any of the options that you have here. So you can do main volume, game volume, voice chat, and then who you're speaking to. So you can get into a party stuff. You can actually choose start party connect your controller talk about your connection but one of the things that i want to talk about really quick is they have live stream and if you connect your youtube service just because it's owned by google you can stream direct to youtube and uh one of the things that i do want to say about this is i tested this on another device we're just going to launch in somewhere really quick i tested this on another device where i did game streaming and i did a live stream from google stadia but I did it and forced the resolution to 720p, which you can do through Google Stadia. But when I streamed to YouTube, that VOD and that stream was 1080p 60. So even though I streamed at a lower quality and it doesn't look that good on my screen necessarily, the video quality that I got from YouTube on the live stream was beautiful. 1080p 60, really high contrast, really high fidelity, like it looked awesome. It didn't look like it did on the screen. Right now we're just, we're just kind of moving through. Let's go ahead and kill some enemies and get some kind of graphics moving on the screen. See if it changes anything. Latency is actually fantastic. I'm just doing my normal sliding, shooting. Like I'm, I'm actually snapping to enemies really well. And I'll say this, if it didn't look like it was game streamed, I don't think I would notice 
that it was from an input perspective. Now, I do have good internet. I've got gigabit down, gigabit up. So if you don't have really good internet, I think it recommends like 10 megs or 10 megs. Yeah, it recommends like a 10 down. You know, if you don't have that, your quality is going to down, go down and probably the input latency. But for right now, everything actually looks really nice. Let's go, let's go play with these guys right here. And then we'll go try out a different game and just see if it's maybe just this game that runs well. But for right now, like this looks, this looks very good. I could, I could probably be without my PC just fine and play Google Stadia on this and feel awesome which I did test this on my MacBook Air. Um, obviously it could run high graphics and stuff like that, but I've tested it with a controller on my MacBook Air and it did flawlessly. And I felt like I could do that locally. Now it doesn't support that natively, the computer doesn't, but let's go jump in another game and uh, see how that looks. All right, so now we're in Kronos. Uh, let's go to options. It looks like we're not gonna get much in the way of graphic uh, video things, anything like that. We got invert cameras, vibration, stuff like that. But it is working on mouse input, so it looks like maybe I can play this on mouse. So let's click start game, new game. Sure, let's just go with what they give us. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna watch this cutscene together. But I can tell right now as I move my mouse, there's a little bit of latency. Just when I move left, I can tell it's just a little behind. But nothing crazy, like it's still tracking my mouse really well, so. Okay, we've loaded in. Well, it's actually a pretty beautiful game, now that if you're looking at it, it's actually pretty cool. So just from front, like I can't tell what this game is supposed to look like. So I could tell it needs to be a little sharper for 1080p. However, it actually looks really good. Another benefit of playing a game through Stadia that I know is that when updates come out, you know, they're almost instant on their end that they're updated. So there's no more waiting for it to queue when you're ready to play. That's one of the benefits for cloud gaming. When you're ready to play, you can play. And you can tell that here, like it was, it's pretty easy. I was in this game in less than a minute. And that'll bring us to the end of this video. The big thing I want to come across here is if you're a person who doesn't have a computer who can play games like this and play them well, or you're a person who's on the go using maybe a MacBook or a phone or something that is not necessarily something that can game like this, but you want to play games on the go. This is a really good option for those people. And especially since they include two months for free with no commitment and you can back out, I would recommend Stadia to a person who's curious about it. If you're a person who during the pandemic has not been able to upgrade your PC and you're ready to get into some gaming, this is a really good option on how to do that. Another really good service for this would be Xbox Play. I just did a video on this for their cloud gaming service. It's right over here, as well as check out this playlist for any streaming tips, as well as anything that might help you being able to reach your audience a little bit better. Make sure you check the description for the link to get two months of Stadia Pro. Also, make sure you come and check out our Discord channel. We have a fantastic place for people to do events, as well as get help on your streaming channel or even help you with things like this. And that'll be it. I'm Cyrus, and welcome to the darkness. We'll catch you next time.